Tell me, who doesn't love center cut pork and sauerkraut on New Year's Day? Welcome back. Now let's get cooking with TGG. Well, I can tell you, we love it, and it is tradition. It is one of my German heritages, and pork and sauerkraut is a must on New Year's Day. Let's go take a look, and I'll show you how I make it. So what do you have to start with? You have to start with a center cut pork loin. Okay, this one is seven pounds. Got to have some fat on there because that's going to make the juice and make it taste delicious. So that's what we start with right there. Make sure you have your prep pan, another prep pan, your roasting pot right here. We're going to have our seasoning, nothing special of course. We're going to do garlic, onion powder, sea salt, ground pepper, and some olive oil. So those are our things we're going to need. So you want to do... We're going to want to take it out. First thing I'm going to do is find the center and I'm going to cut this in half. Smells good. Always, always do a smell test. I do on all the meat I get. Chicken, pork, steaks. If you have a funky smell to it, you're going to know that, hey, you might have a problem. But I'm going to pad this dry. Get some of that juice off. I'm not going to rinse it. I'm just going to pad it dry here a little bit. Paper towel. Put that on my tray. I'm going to take the other one here, same thing, get some of that juice off of there. Pat it dry. Now we got our two loins right there to prepare. Let's take a look. All right, now that they're patted dry, we're going to take some olive oil, whatever you got's fine, nothing fancy. Nothing. Oh no, the lid. Don't get the lid on the pork, Jackie. What happens if the lid touches the pork? Now I have to throw everything out. Now she's going to throw it out. She's contaminated. Why not just rinse this, Jackie? Well, you, stop. Stop. She's afraid of contamination, folks. It'll be fine. Well, we're going to All right, wash let's it. get back to this. Because everything we do on Cooking with TGG is fresh and organic. So a little bit of pork juice on your loins. <laughs> there you go. There's the top. Let's get a little on here. A little on the top side. That even looks good to me, doesn't it? Not really. A clean knife. That's a clean knife. Jackie wants to know. Yeah, Jackie, that is a clean knife. I don't think it was. She doesn't think it was. Probably wasn't. Now, what this uh, olive oil is going to keep the meat nice and moist, and it's also going to uh, create a nice, uh, well, browning or searing of the meat as well. Give it some flavor, of course. Now we got to season it. Time to season the pork. Do a little bit of salt. Whatever you do to the top, you got to do to the bottom. A little bit of cracked pepper. I mean, it's nothing fancy here for me. Tiny bit of onion powder. And because we're having mixed company, we're going to do a tiny bit of garlic. It was just my family, I would have more garlic. So that's a little bit of onion powder there. And we're going to do a little bit of garlic because on TGG we cook with garlic and everything. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, folks. Okay, we don't want too much. Now we're going to flip it. Do the same thing to the other side. Now what we have to do is you have to sear the pork on all sides. And what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the old Presto. Jackie's going to plug it in because I forgot to plug it in. But in the meantime, you should have preheated that all the way on high. Now we are preheating the Presto at 400. Jackie didn't even get that on tape. Now we are preheating the... <laughs> you want tape? Yes. Now we are preheating the Presto at 400 degrees. Get it sizzling. Spray a little pan because... I'm cooking with TGG. We only cook with fresh ingredients, folks. But all kidding aside, make sure this gets sizzling hot because we want to sear this up just to brown it. It's going to hold all those juices in when we roast it. Let's get this seared. I think that's hot enough. Let's listen. Ready, Jack? Hot enough or not? Here it's sizzling. All we want to do is sear this to keep the juices in. So let's keep these seared. I'm going to try to do all sides here. 
Some people will turn their oven up to 400 and put this in and to brown it up that way for about the first 10 minutes. You really got to make sure it gets hot. This isn't really hot enough. I wish it was hotter. I usually put it on the uh, stove in a bigger pan, but I wanted to try the Presto today. A little bit of brown. <clears throat> the end of the day, we want to keep this just browned up. It's going to hold the juices in as we get this thing on roasting. So flip it over, get the other side. I'm going to get the ends, and I'm going to even get the sides right here if we can. If we can, we try to sear the sides. Now we're going to be ready for the pan. We'll get this thing in the roaster. So I sprayed my pan a little bit with some of my pan. I've got the Vlasic Old Fashioned Style Sauerkraut. I hate using it in a can. Either get it in a jar or get it in the bag because the can tastes like metal, I think. We're going to open that up. This is not with caraway seeds. I usually buy caraway seeds, but I can't open that. Wow. <laughs> Want me to open it for you? <laughs> <laughs> and what <laughs> you want me to try it? I bet you I can do it. My wife could probably open these up. My hands got olive oil Come all on, over. Let me do it. Jack, you open them. Come on, Jack. Careful. No, oh, she can't. Let's get oh. to the next one. Oh, she just hurt herself. She just hurt her arms. Okay. Come on, Jack. You can do it. Nope, she can't do it, Knife. folks. Let's get all the way around. It doesn't work, yeah, Jackie. You sure, don't you know tap. What you're doing. You tap it. You tap it. You tap the damn jar. There you go. Look at her go, folks. She knows how to tap. She's beating the living hell out of that. Oh, look at. Oh, tap it, Jackie. <laughs> Come on. Tap it, Jackie. Tap it. Tap <laughs> it, Jackie. <laughs> Come on, open it. Come on. Don't. Gil, give it to. Let me give it to Jimmy. <laughs> let me give it to Jimmy. That was stupid. Take one of these and put them on the bottom. Is what I like to do. That way, the pork is nestled in there. Spread it out. Just a little bit. You got all that juice. I don't drain my sauerkraut. Keep all that flavor and juice in there. And that's what we're going to do on the bottom. And then literally all you're going to do is you're going to take your browned loin sizzling right there and put it right on top of your sauerkraut. Put the other one right next to it. And again, make sure you go fat side up. Jackie, that is a fat side up. What about here? I don't think we did it the right way. There's a fat side up. Very important. Why? When you're cooking. Why, Jackie uh, says, do you want to go fat side up? Well, what happens to the fat is it cooks and it drains down into the meat. Mm -hmm. Always cook fat side up, drains down into the meat. Don't be afraid, you're not going to hurt it. Get that over there. You're going to load that sauerkraut, folks. If you haven't tried sauerkraut with your pork, you don't know what you're missing. It's pretty much loaded with juice. So right now, that pork is sitting in juice. And it is not going to dry out. I promise you that. So there you go. We've got our oven preheated to 350. We have 7 pounds of pork. We're going to cook anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes per pound on the pork. We'll stick a thermometer in. Make sure it's about 145 to 165. Somewhere in that range. We'll make sure it's done. We're not worried about browning this. We're not going to slice this. We're actually going to shred this and mix it in with the sauerkraut. That's how we love it here on Cooking with TGG. All right, folks, here's what it's supposed to look like. I actually shred it up and I let it soak in that sauerkraut sauce and it is bon appetit. Make sure you listen to the recipe 20 to 25 minutes on 350 and that's 20 to 25 minutes per pound. Okay, but there it is. I think it's going to be delicious. Let's look. I'm going to stir some around here. But at the end of the day, cook it to your liking. You really have to cook pork 145 to 160, but uh, if you overcook it, you know, just have a lot of this sauerkraut juice. Let it soak and it gets all that salt and that juice from the sauerkraut. But I took it out early and there we go. We're going to get some mashed potatoes and there is our center cut pork loin and sauerkraut. All right, Papa, how's it taste? Mm. A number one. What is the pork, the kraut, the potatoes. Everything tastes good? Very good. Tastes like very you good. Meal? Very good. Very good. Nana, what do you say? I say it excellent. Tastes, tastes like your mom. Excellent what? Excellent. Sauerkraut and pork. It is and good. I'm just saying it for the video. So no, we need it's the very truth. good. Jimmy will tell me the truth. Jimmy, <laughs> tell me the truth. Here. What? Tell me the truth. What does it taste like? It's pretty good. That's pretty good from Jimmy. It's pretty I good. It's real good. All right. 
I'll take I'll it. I'll tell you. Yeah, Jimmy is pretty good. Jackie. I didn't try it yet. She didn't even try it yet. After the plate's gone, she didn't try it yet. I ate that chicken. All she cared about bread. All she oh cared about God, so we'll good. try the pork. <laughs> Not the potatoes. I mix it. Oh, she mixes it. Don't talk with your mouth full. Mm. That's always so good. It's so good. God, mm -hmm. I had a hard So time. homemade mashed potatoes, pork sauerkraut, ciabatta bread. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy, happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year, Jimmy. What do you have to best say? Best wishes. Happy New Year. Best wishes to everybody. Yes. And bone. Cook fresh, cook often, and keep cooking with TGG. Mm.